with the final hammer price. Now, you might not be aware, but right now, there are great battles being fought all around the country and indeed all around the world. Countless numbers of armies of men and beasts are fighting to the death in great fields of battle, at least on the tops of great tables. The games themselves are a bit like chess. They have rules and regulation, and it is a dice-based game. But you have, you have uh, movement rules, uh, stats for when you're attacking. So there's a lot of thought and strategy that have to go into to actually play the game. The first Warhammer army I collected was High Elves, followed by my Chaos army. Then more recently, I've actually got my Bretonian army, and on the bottom shelf, I've actually got uh, older Eldar miniatures, which was one of the first ones that I did. When I was younger, I used to like model kits, like just building models and painting, and I was never very good at it. This was just a natural progression to, for me from the gaming side of things, which I don't do as much now but I'd really enjoy model building, uh, building and painting. Generally speaking, I try and get it so it's like a light down effect, so the brighter points tend to be lit from above. It all varies on your technique and your own style. You use everything from quite large brushes to tiny, uh, basically few hairs wide. And if you really, really want to get it looking uh, spectacular, it takes a long time. Some people just like to paint their armies fairly quickly to get them done for, for the tabletop and they really enjoy the, the gaming side of things. Last year was the first time they had the Tasmanian state titles. Met a lot of people I hadn't met before. Uh, really enjoyed the weekend and I thought, well, after this, I'll put the, uh, a new army together. And to paint that army, it took me eight months and it was quite involved. And what's more too, they're all knights, so <laughs> they're bigger miniatures. Thanks very much. Thanks very much. It's really good to see you. I won the five categories I did enter, I got first in all five. So I'm very happy with that. These five entries now go off to Sydney. We'll be competing at a national level from there. Yeah, but you should go to bed, shouldn't you? Well, you want to watch Daddy paint. It's a balancing act. It's, it's like most things, you've got to balance work, family and everything else you do. I can still so, see myself do it for another 20 years, the painting and modelling, I can't see myself stopping. Like model railways, you can be any age and be building and doing. It's a similar type of, I think, uh, I hate to say it, but addiction. <laughs> Jamie, what you don't see there is the fine detail, the incredible detail of these things that you see up close. Surely you paint beneath a big magnifying glass or a, a microscope or something. So <laughs> please tell me. I can hardly see them from here. Uh, no, well, most of it's actually done by freehand with just a brush and uh, eyesight. So you do have to hold it fairly close to the actual eyes, but you don't use... How is your vision for, like, long distance and things? Oh, fine. fine. Oh. <laughs> now, this is the rule book to the game. Yes. And it is quite thick. Can you tell us briefly about the game? Uh, it's basically a turn-based game. It's six turns and whoever, whichever side's still left standing or has the most pieces decides uh, who wins. Mm -hmm. There seems to be so many aspects to being involved in Warhammer. Do you consider yourself to be an artist, a gamer or a collector? More of a collector. I, I tend to do much more painting than I do playing, but I do just consider myself a collector. I like certain aspects, certain armies more than others, and I tend to collect based on that. I particularly knocked out by that little knight. Tell me the story about your little green knight down there. Uh, that was one I painted up last year for what they call a, a Golden Demon painting competition. And I had, I think, five or six entries, and that was one. But this, is, this one last year, that one entry alone took me a month to paint. And it took about 40 hours. Wow. I can you, see you, why. Won the, you won the competition, didn't yeah, you? With that? Yeah, I'd won. Don't be shy. Yes, I did win first with that one. Yes. yes. What would something like your Green Knight be worth now it's won a first prize? Oh, I, I imagine I could probably get around 300. Well, I'm a sociologist, so I'm interested in, you know, complete societies. I, I, is everyone in this world, you know, battling? Basically. 
Yeah. <laughs> so, so there, are no, there, are no wim, there are no women in this world. world oh, war. no, no, there are. There, there are, are a few women. There's, a, there's one female miniature up oh. there. Ah, but she there has a lot of children. <laughs> but uh, there is armies, apart from mine, that actually have some female models in it. Yeah. And what oh, are okay. the roles of women in this world? Oh, they're much the same. There are obviously set pieces that you can just buy off the shelf, but can you also make new characters for the game? Yes. Um, one large part of this is actually sculpting. I'm not very good at it, I will be honest. Oh, on we that. can see that. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's Rubbish. sculpting, Rubbish. it's sculpting. Are there any here that you've sculpted? Um, the, the giant at the back, the, the <laughs> beastman giant, is Does actually... he have a name? Oh, just a... Cast, oh. gi cast giant. It doesn't actually have a name. It's Gary, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's, it's Roger, isn't it? Roger the Beast Giant. That's not actually sculpted, but it is converted from a couple of other miniatures. Mm. There are people I know that could build something like that from scratch with oh. no models at all. They oh, what actually, a skill. Yeah. Couldn't you call it Andy Muirhead from that? Yeah, yeah, thank you. <laughs> I was waiting for that. Thank you very much. Thank you, Jamie, for showing us these. Uh, they are fantastic. Still far beyond my comprehension, I'm sorry. Patience. Patience. I haven't got it. No. Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> well, I'm sure a lot of people had no idea that this whole world existed. So many strange new things. Well, here's something else that's strange.